Hello everybody, so I am very excited and very happy for this video today because well we are going to be building a really cool, really big, just overall really awesome new Lego Harry Potter set. And um, I'm really excited because first of all I love Harry Potter, if you can't tell by the way that I'm dressed right now. But also I particularly love Lego Harry Potter because they just always have great sets. So um yeah. So this set itself is called Diagon Alley, and it is pretty big. Um, it has more than 5,544 pieces, which is a lot. It, this is actually then the biggest set that we have ever done, and it has more than 14 um, minifigures. So let's take a look at what we will be actually building. So first up... This is the building that um, George Weasley and Fred Weasley um, work in. It's a little prank shop, so you can find all sort of things to buy from these tricksters, like fireworks or like love potions or something. Um, you can even see here that we have Ginny and Hermione playing with some, wanting to buy some. So um, yeah, so this is actually probably one of the coolest stores because it's very bright and it's just very well done. Yeah, and um, then over here in the next building we actually have two little buildings. So the first one is this very nice bookstore sort of library, and um, this is actually where um, Harry meets his professor, who might be a little bit of a narcissist and who's in love with himself. And then over here we have a nice little ice cream parlor, just run by this nice old man over here. Um, Next up, this is one of the bigger buildings, so this is actually really cool because this, um, sorry, so this shop is really, really big, and I mean really big, because, um, over here they sell the flying brooms, so, um, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot how to say, so, the reason why all of these shops seem so strange is because you can't usually find these shops whenever you go shopping. This is because this is all in the Harry Potter universe, and in the first film, when Harry and Ron need to buy their supplies for Hogwarts, Hagrid takes them to all of these places, and also we see lots of um, these stores later on in the movies. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, here we have a broom shop, and it's a whole sort of sports shop with lots of outfits and stuff that you can choose from. So yeah. And then over here we have this tiny little almost abandoned um, <laughs> um, newspaper place and it's actually the Daily Prophet because that's what the newspaper is called and they own this little space up here and this tiny little space over here that we can actually see over here with all of the gazettes and all of the newspapers up against the window. So um, yeah. And then next up, last but obviously not least, first up we have Ollivanders, and this is actually a really great shop, and I actually thought that Lego would um, just make it at their, it own set, their own set, but um, it's really great that they put it all together, so for those of you who don't know, that's where Harry and Ron, where they get their magic wands, and um, it's really great, it's really cool, and um, yeah, and then... The last place we have is called Scribbless, and it's where they get their feathers to write with and their quills. So, um, yeah. So now let's actually look at what we have inside. Oof. So first of all, it's very heavy. Um, yeah. As I said, we have 14 minifigures here, as well as three owls, I think, or even more. So, um, yeah. Now let's open up. Ah, sorry. There you go. Oof. So I haven't ever opened this before, and let's just take a look at what's inside. My guess is that there's probably another box in here, because as I said, there are lots of pieces here, and that's what LEGO usually does. They've done it with Pirates of... when we did the Pirates Bay ship and also when we did the haunted house but um yeah let's take a look inside okay it's very heavy but um oh my gosh <laughs> so lots of stuff 
Ooh, we even get this cute little box. And as I predicted, we have another box in here. Already we have a lot, and I mean a lot of um, <laughs> of these bags, and now we have another box, which is already pretty fair size, so let's take a look on what we have in here. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ah, my goodness. Sorry. Uh, but it did not sound good. Um, we have a crazy amount of um, pieces here because it's five more than 5,000 and a half pieces. Um, this is a lot. <laughs> and, um, oh my gosh, yeah. Um, we also have these four um, panels we're going to be building for the four buildings. And then we actually, oh wow, we have four instruction books over here like this um, for each of the buildings, which is quite cool. And then we have a lot, and I mean honestly, we have a lot of stickers. So, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, oh, oh, and we should probably also open this box. So here it says it it has the um numbers twenty one and then it says silencio, keep it between us. But um let's open it. Oh this is cool. So this is actually Hagrid. Oh, how fun. And we even have a PC that says, Welcome to Diagon Alley, Harry. Oh, how fun. Anyways, that is it. And now I'm going to start building for 14 hours. See you in more than 14 hours. Bye. <laughs>
everybody. So as you can see, I have already finished building the set and now I'm going to show it to you. So first of all, just look at how huge it is. It almost goes to the length of both of my arms. So really cool. And um, yeah, so as usual, I'm first going to start with the minifigures. But first, just going to give you a quick little overview on what the set is about and what its inspiration was, I guess. So yeah. So in the first Harry Potter film, or movie, I guess, um, Harry, when he finds out that he needs to go to Hogwarts, he also finds out that he needs to buy lots of different stuff and lots of different supplies Is to be a wizard that you can't usually find at your regular store. So he and so Hagrid takes him to this really cool place that's called Diagon Alley, and they actually enter by going through a special bar, knocking and doing some magic, and they come out over here through Nocturne Alley onto Diagon Alley. So yeah, really cool. And then there was the iconic scene in the movie where they're going through lots of stores and they find really cool stuff that they need, like magic wands, for example, or Quidditch supplies, or even the, the spell books and everything. So, um, yeah. And then it's all, also, it's really cool because they also have some stuff from some later movies, actually from the fourth movie. So this um, building over here, it's actually the Weasley's the Weasley's um, little prank store where you can find all of, all of your supplies to pull very cool pranks, I guess, on other people. And um, yeah, it's really cool. So anyways, now I'm just going to show the minifigures to you before showing off all the, the buildings. Okay. First off, let's start with, um, well, these people over here. So, over here we have Harry, of course. We have Hermione. Oh, pardon me. Then we have the Daily Prophet photographer, because the Daily Prophet is a wizarding newspaper. Um, yeah. And then over here we have Florian Fortescue, who actually works in a nice little cafe on the street. So, yeah, very nice. Then, while well, we still have the middle, um, so here we have this very nice little plaque, and it just sort of commemorates welcome when um, Hagrid said to Harry, "Welcome, welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley." And yeah, so we have Hagrid, and then we have another Harry Potter piece, really cool. So um, yeah. Next up for the line of minifigures, we over here have Draco Malfoy, who is sort of Harry Potter's enemy. Then over here we have his dad, Lucius Malfoy. Then over here we have Gilderoy Lockhart, who is a little bit of a narcissist, so he's a bit in love with himself. And um, yeah. <laughs> then and then finally over here we have Garrick Ollivander, who is the owner of Ollivander, which is a magic wand shop. Oops, pardon me. Oops, sorry. Then the next line of minifigures, here we have the Weasleys. So we have most of them except for the dad. So here we have Molly Weasley, we have George and Fred. They're actually um, what's really cool is that they look like they're exactly the same, but their suits are just a little bit different, and so are their facial expressions. Then over here we, of course, have Ron and Ginny. So, yeah. Oh, pardon me. And, um, yeah, so that is it for the minifigures. We actually have a lot of them in this set. And, um, yeah, now I'm going to show you the sets. So you can actually move all of the buildings so that they're all separate, and then each of those buildings have two buildings, or even three sometimes. So yeah, our first building is Ollivanders and Scribblis. So first let's start off with Ollivanders. Um, so as you can see, the, de the architecture here is really nice. Um, I really like it, and even you can see that the tilted chimney roof is really cute over here. 
So um, yeah, I also really like these arched windows because they have a nice little touch. And we even have the name over here, Ollivanders everywhere, Magic Wands. So yeah, now let's take a look inside. Come on in. So on the inside over here, first off we see this huge staircase. But um, here's the door from which we came through. Let's take a look what's over here. So back over here behind the cash register, we have a very big bookshelf. I mean, wand shelf with lots of different wand cases. And each wand case looks a little bit like this. So it looks like a regular little box. And then there's a nice little wand inside. And this is actually a cus this is a special sort of box that has never been used before in Lego sets, so yeah, really cool. Oops, pardon me. Um yeah. Then over on this side, on the moving staircase that we have here, which is really cool, we have a bunch of wands back here. So yeah, really cool. And um now let's go up the stairs. So now up over here, um, over on this side, we have a special staircase, and also we have a lot more wands, really cool. Then over here we have a nice little desk with a couple of more wands, and then we even have a little reading chair, sitting chair, with some um, wands in the window for people to see. So yeah. Now let's head on over to Scribblus to pick up some nice feather pens. Um, so over here, very nice architecture style. It's quite small compared to Ollivander's, but still very nice. So let's take a look inside. Come on in. <laughs> so inside, this is where we opened up the door. Where my finger is right now. Um, so over here on this side, we have a very nice collection of different pens and of also different scrolls over here. You can see very nice. So we have different colored feather pens. And down here we even have different colored inks. So there's black and then there's some blue over there. Then over here we have a nice little desk uh, where I'm guessing that you can sort of... Oops, pardon me. Ah, oh no. So... Um, where you can sort of test out a pen. So here they've tried out this red feathered pen. Looks very nice. Pardon me. <laughs> and then um, also in the window, in the window down here, sorry about that, we can even see that um, there's a scroll in there. Sorry, it's a bit yellow, but um, there's actually a scroll in there that shows just how good the paper is and the pens are. So um, yeah, now let's head up on the second level. There aren't any stairs here, but because they're wizards, we can just sort of imagine that they can um, fly up there. And um, this part is private, I'm guessing. It just has a nice little chimney over here that goes up. Then we have a potion, and we even have a skull, which is a very nice home decor um, choice. And we even have this old sort of rugged couch. You can even see my fingernail over here. Um, yeah, very nice, and um, yeah, so that is it for this building. Let's move on to the next. So the next building is very bright and pink, and this is actually the Quidditch store. So yeah, let's take a look inside. So on down here we have a more traditional sort of build, and we have the golden... Um, we have the golden um, birdie here that flies. So, yeah. And um, up on top, I think that here they might have just rebuilt it after time. But I really like it. It's very nice and bright. And then over here, we just have the Daily Prophet. Very, very thin. Um, because they don't really need that much space. So, um, yeah. Now let's take a look inside. So, come on in. <laughs> Hope that that doesn't get tiring after four buildings. So, um, yeah. So, when we come on in, we can see lots of cool stuff. So, over here in this very nice bay window, 
we can see that there is a uniform here and it appears to be for Hufflepuff, really cool. Then over here we have lots of these special bats. So um, in Quidditch usually you ha you're flying around on these really cool flying broomsticks and it's a little bit like baseball so there's the golden snitch and then there's also a much bigger ball and most of the people they have this huge bat and you need to hit the ball with and get it into the very big hoop so um here you have a very nice different option of which ones you can choose from you have some nice thin ones and then some bigger ones then over here we have some nice uniforms for quidditch which is quite good because um, they're orienting it um, towards um, towards Hogwarts because we have the four houses here. And so we have the yellow one for Hufflepuff, then the, we have the green one for Slytherin, the red for Gryffindor, and blue for Ravenclaw. Very nice. And back here we have a very nice model of a really, really cool flying broomstick. So this might be a new one that apparently might be a new model or something like that but regardless very cool now let's head on up to the second floor on the second floor it it's a little bit less tight with and filled with stuff so here oops pardon me so up over here we have another very nice uniform apparently for ravenclaw very nice and bright then over here we have some very cool broomsticks, and here it says feel free to test fly any of our brooms. So that's actually really cool, so you can test which one goes a little bit faster, which one you like, which one you don't know. So yeah, then over here we have a chest, let me just take it out and quickly show you. Oops, pardon me. And inside we just have some balls and a bat that I just took out. So yeah, very, very nice. And then back here, we have a pretty big shelf with a lot of different uniforms and everything. And um, yeah, with different sizes, I'm guessing, which is really good. Now let's see what the Daily Prophet has. So this is the tiny, tiny little sliver of a door it has. Let's take, inside. Let's take a look inside. So come on in. <laughs> So over here on the for first floor, we don't really get to see that much. We just get to see this big crate of some fresh newspapers. And over here, the different kind of articles. So you can spend a really long time looking at it if you want to. So feel free to pause the video if you want to read it. <laughs> so um, yeah. Then over here, it feels a little bit abandoned because it doesn't even have the second floor. And there's a very big spider web with a pretty big spider so Ron pr probably would be pretty afraid of it <laughs> but the, then they also have this part over here right, with just lots of newspapers but again might feel a little bit abandoned because there's already a little mouse living there and it already and there's some fresh cheese so um yeah but from the outside it looks as if there are lots of newspapers stuck up to the very very top so maybe there's something happened that's very very newsworthy so um yeah so um so that is it for this building very nice and now let's look at the next one so this six building is probably um one of the cutest it's my personal favorite because i just think that it's a little bit more modest than the, some of the other ones but still very nice architecture and everything so here we have actually two buildings. The first one over here is a very nice bookstore that's called Flourish and Blots. And then the second one is just a nice little cafe over here. And um, yeah, so first off, let's start at looking at the exterior of this very nice bookstore. You can actually, the windows here are a lot better than some of the others because you can actually see what's happening back here. So um, yeah. Then out over here we have some books. We have some of these book crates with some fresh books. So lots of the time um, bookstores do this to show you what kind of books there are. Maybe there are some new ones, or maybe they're on sale. So um yeah. Now let's take a look inside. Come on in. So this is where we opened up the door. Close it now. 
Um, over on this side, we have a pretty big bookshelf with a lot of, and I mean a lot of different books. Um, then over here, we have this special pile made up of five very cool different colored book books. So perhaps this is a special combo that you need to buy, perhaps for Hogwarts, or perhaps these are just sets that are on sale. But um, very nicely built, especially how this orange one is sort of tilting over the side. Very, very nice. Then over here, we don't really have that much. We just have a special book over here that we can see in the, that says, and it's actually a book about uh, Gilderoy Lockhart. So, um, yeah, very nice. Also very nice architecture over here with those claws. And now let's go up the stairs. So here we have the sign, Flourish and Lots. And now let's take a look at what's up here. So over here we have another bookshelf. And I'm guessing that this is a very nice little reading nook. So we have another set of books over here. And then in the bay window, it was very nicely built. So we have a lantern, so a little lamp, and a little book that is very obviously uh, in about wizarding, about the wizarding world, because there's a magic wand, and perhaps it's a spell that you can try. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Um, now let's take a look at this nice little cafe over here. Very cute. Um, a bit of a different style, I would say, than the other stores. But over here we have this very cute decoration of these two seats here. And then over here we have some ice cream. So, um, yeah, very cute. I also really like how they made this so that it looks as if um, it's this little cover. And, um, yeah, very nice bright door. Let's take a look inside. Come on! <laughs> so, over here on this side, we get... Oh, let me just close the door. Pardon me. We get lots of different flavors. Lots of them are quite strange. For example, if you read the last one, it says bat juice and... Um, and earwig, which is not a common ice cream flavor, if you ask me. But of course, because it's Harry Potter, there might be some different flavors. Um, then over here, this is the counter, so you got to choose which sort of cup or um, a bowl you want. Then over here, we have some ice cream that's just waiting, or maybe some treats that are waiting there. And then over here, we have the two already made ice cream or gelatos. So we have a chocolate one, and we have a vanilla one. So I assume that it was chocolate and vanilla, but perhaps it's something completely crazy, like beans flavor or something like that. But um, yeah, now let's take a little peek up here on top. So very nice, very cute. Um, this isn't part of the store. I'm guessing that it's just the owner that lives here. So we have a nice little couch that can do a little turning thing. And then over here on the side, we just have a nice little coffee table with a very nice little view up here. So I said that it was a nice view, but it's probably quite hectic because there are always lots of people here trying to get by and everything. But um, yeah, very nice. Really cool building. And um, yeah, so that is it for this building. Now let's move on to the final one, which... Um, And so this is the last building. It is really, really cool. And um, this is actually probably the coolest building and the best built one. So I previously said that this, that the previous one was my favorite one. It is my favorite one, but this one is just the most sort of awesome and uh, epic sort of one. Yeah. So the name of the store is called Weez Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. <laughs> um, a bit hard to pronounce if you ask me, but um, over here it says stuff like Weez is guaranteed, or um, so here's this always Weez is guaranteed, then Weezy Wizard Wizard Weezes, and do the best in jesting, shenanigans for all, and lots of really cool stuff and signs. So um, yeah, first let's start off with the exterior. It is absolutely amazing build. It's very bright. It just really pops. Um, over here we have these beautiful bay windows that are very beautiful in themselves, but also that they have this very nice little man here that can sort of tip his hat. Ooh. 
or break his arm. <laughs> um, pardon me. So yeah, you he can tip his hat like this, or he can hold it out as if asking for money, or he can just hold it on his head. So very cool. And they actually built it so that you can see the body in inside the bay windows. So really cool again, really amazing. Um, yeah. So now let's take a little look inside. So there are actually two doors here, but let's go in through this one. So come on in. Oops. Uh, here we have some nice advertisements. So you have the dark mark, then just a little poster for Weezy, Weezy, these wizard wheezes. And um, yeah, so we came in this way, pardon me. And so over here, first off, we have the nice little cash register. And then in the background over over here, sorry, I can't fully reach it, we have these really, really cool big bookshelves with lots of potions and different fun stuff for pranks, I'm guessing. And um, yeah, then over here, where we have some, some other sort of Weasley Wizard Weezes sort of stuff. Um, so these might be just some new um, projects that they have that might be on sale or that they just might be brand new. So really cool. So up over here we have these po um, very big purple potions. I'm a bit scared just to know what they do if you ask me. Then over here we have these special boxes. So it might be a set of different pranks that you can do. And down over here in the bottom we just have a very nice globe so really cool and um yeah then over here in the background we have some more some more shenanigans we have something that's called dancing doxy so i think that maybe if you give it to somebody that they just accidentally start dancing because it's magic and maybe just some older products and um yeah now let's go up go up these oh go up these stairs and then up some more stairs to this floor over here so over here we just have some lollipops but um if you ask me i don't think that they're just the innocent sugar lollipops that you eat them and very tasty and very good um i think that there might be a little something more to it that they might look very tasty but their flavor might actually be something horrible or something so um yeah and then over here we have a very big set of something that looks like it's explosive so over here it says basic blaze box so i was correct so there might be some fireworks in there and something and some matches to sort of make fireworks yeah so then over here we have another shelf with some special cups and everything and um yeah and then on the very top we have these these um small boxes oh, not at the very top um, Okay, never mind. So now let's go up uh, these stairs that are very bright, very cool, to the final floor that has... So this building actually has three floors, which is really cool. So, um, yeah. Now over here on the top floor, we have some of the coolest stuff. We have some brand new boxes. We have some jewels, even. And, uh, yeah, very nice. So you could spend hours looking at this and you would still find some new things to see. And um, with this set, there's also this little thing. And this is actually from the fourth movie where Ginny and Hermione, they're looking at these and their little love potions. They're ve this is very well made. I really like it. Very cute. Very cool. So, um, yeah. So now I'm just going to put all of these together so we can see what the alley looks like so you can have it be very very long or you can put them together like i will right now so first you take these two oh, oh no pardon me just for a second so you take these two you put them like this and now you're going to take these two over here and you're also going to stick them like oh. <laughs> And then you're also going to stick them like this. And now what you have essentially is this really, really cool road. 
and it actually looks like a real alley. So it might seem pretty thin, but if we put a minifigure like Harry over here, it seems just perfect. So um, now let's put it all back together in like this. So um, so that is it for this set. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more. Um, I really recommend buying the set because it was a pleasure building it and a pleasure even explaining everything because it's just a really great set and um, really great. So that is it for this video, like I said, bye!